Welcome to my binding video. This video is designed to assist you in how to load your TCC 2700. All roll laminators need to be filled and then refilled when you run out of laminating film. The chart that was included with your machine is helpful, but sometimes the whole process can seem a bit daunting. Let's go step by step so we can understand and learn. The first thing is to understand there's a shiny side and a dull side to every roll. You have to look at the chart to find out where the shiny side lays to to make sure that your laminating rolls are facing the right direction to actually adhere to the paper. With the shiny facing down, remove the bottom roller. Slide it into the tube of the laminate roll. These teeth are designed to keep the roll from slipping on the bar. Twist it in a counterclockwise fashion till you get all the way through to the other side, stopping at the mark for your size of roll. For us, 25 inches. Place the loaded bar back into the machine, right side first and then the left. Now, give yourself a little leeway with the laminate film. Unroll it a little bit. That way you can feed it underneath that back bottom bar, up and over, underneath the second bar, and pull it all the way through, all the way down the film. And then gently pull it out to give yourself some lead, and we'll use it later. Let's look at that a little bit closer. Shiny side facing down, back around the one bar, and up and under the second bar. Lay your excess down and out of the way. Now remove the top bar and we'll do a very similar thing with that one. Load it onto the film roll, a clockwise twisting until you get to your mark. Place it back up and into its holder. The right side first and then the left. Now it's time here, make sure that we check the reference chart to be sure we have the shiny side facing the right direction. For this top roll, it comes off the top toward the back with the shiny side facing away from the machine. And then give yourself a little bit of lead and drape it down behind that first bar that's just below. There's two bars there, it goes in between, and then up and over this little second bar here. Feed it through with one side, make sure it's nice and flush, and then pull it out all the way along the length of the film roll. Give yourself a little bit of lead as well, pull it out nice and gentle, and drape it forward. At this point, you need to feed the film behind the heat shield. So just tuck it back there just like this, lift the heat shield and pull it all the way down. If the rollers are warm, it's gonna start to melt and that's okay, just carry on. Lay it all the way flat and down. And the bottom side, you're gonna lift it up and over. Now we can begin to prime or feed that roll. We use a piece of cardboard or cardstock or previously laminated material, push it in, let the rollers grab it and pull it all the way through. At this point, it's gonna get everything smooth, it's gonna line up the rollers and get everything working just as it's supposed to be. Let's go through all the way to the back side here and cut it off. Be extremely careful when using razor blades or straight edges near this machine. These hot rollers here, if they should get punctured, will be destroyed and make quite a mess. Replace the work table, set it on the grooves, replace the heat shield, and you're off and ready for great production. We hope this has been helpful. That's how to fill and refill your TCC 2700 roll laminator by Tamerica. For more demos, reviews, and how-tos, check out mybinding.com.